Hello, good afternoon, it's David from Normie and & Company and today you join me outside number 22 Lancaster Avenue in Whitefield. This is an extremely popular location with young families um, and is an ideal first time buy. This is a three bedroom semi-detached property with off-road parking for two vehicles and a really good sized garden for the price. It represents really good value for money. Um, definitely worth coming to have a look. In terms of convenience, you've got the Metrolink stations pretty much on your doorstep within walking distance and all of Whitefield's amenities, um, all of them within close walking distance. So, so this property is in an ideal location for anybody looking to commute into Manchester or Bury or the surrounding areas. I'm going to have a look at the front of the property now. So this is Lancaster Avenue and as I pan around you will see the front of the property over here. Um, the first thing that strikes you is that this has a paved driveway over here that gives you parking for at least two vehicles um, leading to the porch and into the house. Let's go and have a look. And straight in from the driveway you have a porch that steps straight in to this wonderful front aspect reception room. Uh, reception room leads straight through into the kitchen and accommodates a really good sized lounge suite. You've got some nice features in here which we'll see from the other side. Okay, looking back at the front reception room over here, you can see that bay window there um, to the front which brings in a great deal of natural light. Um, your lounge area also a very good size and of course the access through into the kitchen. So here we are at the rear of the property in the kitchen. As you can see, this is a very good sized kitchen, um, plenty of work surface and storage space over here. And it also accommodates a really good sized dining room table as well. So you have your diner and kitchen combined. Um, the view out to the rear garden um, is also pretty decent. Um, you get a straight unencumbered view out there as you can just see. That's your view whilst you're doing the dishes, straight out into the rear garden. Um, an absolutely fantastic garden that we're going to have a look at together in a moment. Um, this is the kitchen from the other side of the room. Um, you can see the side door that leads out into the side passageway and the rear garden. So we're out in the rear garden. As you can see, uh, this garden has a covered seating area just over here, which is really handy, um, that leads down to a very amply sized um, lawned garden with that pathway leading just up the middle and leading to the decked area and storage space at the rear. Um, if I just come down here and show you the rest of the garden, I'm going to turn around so you can see some of the neighbouring properties as well and what you may notice is that there are extensions to the rear of some of the neighbouring properties um, which gives a fairly good indication that this property as well has scope for further extension if one was um, so inclined um, and that, that may be looked on favourably by the planning authorities so there is scope here to add real future value um, definitely something worth looking at what is certainly rare is to find a garden of such great proportions um, with a property in this price bracket. It represents absolute ideal value, um, particularly when you consider your options to extend it and to add further value in the future. Okay, we're up on the first floor. So this is the first floor landing. Nice bit of natural light being brought in by that window at the side. Um, and then access provided to all the rooms as follows. We are at the front of the property in bedroom number one. As you can see, quite nicely accommodates a double bed. And you've got that front aspect window over there as well. Um, if I walk across here, maybe give you a slightly different angle. Just a really charming room. This is bedroom number two. Another double bedroom towards the rear of the property with that window there overlooking the rear garden. Uh, room for a home workstation there. Um, so plenty of room for a home office. Uh, really good size second bedroom. This bathroom is surprisingly spacious because in addition to the corner bath that you see over there and the sink, you've also then got um, WC just over there and a double walk-in shower just behind me so that really is a good-sized bathroom for a house of this size. 
This is the front aspect single bedroom, currently being utilised as a walk-in wardrobe and um, would easily suit as a home office or a nursery or just as a single bedroom.